All right, so I'm making the old list here. Let's see. Dad. Been nice. Mom. Nice. Um. Haley. Yeah, yeah. Mark that as naughty. Um. Me. Nice, 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 nice. You know, I'm, it's been so great. I'm gonna enjoy this wine. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Uh, so today I'm reviewing the Schloss Bierbrock. It is a sect, it's a, a sparkling wine from Germany. It's 11% alcohol by volume. I uh, paid $6 for it at Trader Joe's. Uh, while I'm opening that, you may have noticed, that's right, uh, I'm growing my winter coat, but it actually is because I had a weight loss goal. Uh, I've been trying to lose a lot of weight for a long time, and because having a wife and kids and a desk job, not working out, things like that will kind of make you gain weight. Uh, oh, this is weird, it has like a metal clip on it. That's kind of cool. Um, anyway, so I hit my weight loss goal. So now I get to keep it until my wife hits her weight loss goal and then she's going to force me to shave it. But in the meantime, get used to the furry because it's gonna happen more often. So this is kind of an interesting, it's kind of like a plastic bottle top. It's not a traditional cork. Um, let's see if it still scares the crap out of me like a normal one does. Not really twisting very hard. Not, it's not as scary as the other one because it actually does, it is kind of threaded a little bit. That is weird. Anyway, um, oh, this, just smelling it smells totally different. Totally different. Um, from a color standpoint, it is almost like the color of water. It's extremely, extremely light. Um, like lighter than most Proseccos or anything like that. I mean, it's like way lighter than any Vino Verde. Like I don't, it's super, super light. Um, but no artifacts, no clar cl uh, cloudiness or anything like that. Um, from a nose standpoint, it's very interesting as well. It has a musty type of hint to it, but not in a bad way, but in a very just, um, not what you would expect. It's not like a, a lot of the, Kind of sparkling wines I have where it's very fruit forward. Um, this does not have a lot of fruit forward. The villa, it actually smells a little, a little earthy, like a hint of apple. Um, almost like there's a tiny bit of a spice or something that should be there too. Anyway, very interesting um, from a taste standpoint. Kind of tastes like sparkling grape juice. No. No, it doesn't taste like grape. It tastes like apple juice. It tastes like sparkling apple juice. It's sparkling apple juice. It is exactly what it tastes like. It is, I, I'm, I'm, it's not complex at all. It is um, very straightforward. So if you like um, apple-y, apple -y, apple -y wines, um, this one will probably work out for you, especially if you like sparkling wines. It actually keeps its carbonation pretty well. It has about moderate high acid. Um, yeah, so it's not that bad. Um, I, I mean, like, if I just want something sparkly and light, this could, this could kind of work. Um, it's not really sweet at all. Uh, so it's like almost, even though it's a sectum it's almost like a brute. Um, but there's still one question that remains to be answered. Does it shambong? All right, so now we're gonna do my favorite segment of the Sparkling Wines show, which is, does it shambong? So first, let's pour a sample. By sample, I mean a glass worth, because a shambong is made for rapid consumption. See, has some good bubblage going on on both sides, hey? Now, let's see if it shambongs. Oh, 
<sighs> Man, those sham burps. This sham bongs, and it sham bongs really well because you get a good amount of sham burps. Oh, I still feel some happening. Um, repress, repress them. Um, but yes, this this does sham bong. It sham bongs well. So um, I guess for my rating, I'm gonna give you. Eh, I'm gonna mix. So I'm gonna give you a okay, and I'm gonna give you a good. The okay. If you are someone who wants complexity in your sparkling wines, then the okay is gonna be what your rating is for this wine. If you're someone who just wants something light, something fun, you wanna use it as a mix in something else, for the price point at $6, this is a good buy, uh, especially since it's Chambong as well. Um, so that's gonna be my rating. It's okay if you want something complex, it's good if you want the price point. <laughs> Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it again because it took me like 27 takes to get it right-ish the first time. If you have tried this wine, then let me know in the comments below. And if there's a better wine for $6, it's a sparkling wine from Germany that I haven't tried yet, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I'll try to see if I can pick it up and review it later. Uh, anyway, I will also have some uh, requests for kosher wines. I'm working on trying to get them, so I'm hoping to have those very soon. Stay put. Uh, they're on their way. But anyway, I will see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, yeah, <laughs> I'm time to get naughty. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm reviewing the Schloss, Schloss Breibeck. Breibeck. Be by Bridge. Breibeck. Let me try that again. Schloss Breibreck, Breibreck, Schloss, Biebrick, 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 Schloss Biebrick.